hello friends so welcome back to another video of jetpack compose tutorial series so in the previous video we have seen that how we can set up our first application using jetpack compose and in this video we will see the basic project structure of jetpack compose and uh, what all are these predefined files and how uh, we can use them so let's get started so first of all we can see that here is a UI package and inside it there are four files uh, so we will see one by one that uh, what all these files are what are their uses so let's say that uh, this is the first file that is color.kt so we'll open it and here you can see that here are some of the variables defined uh, so as uh, by the name it is clear that here we can define our colors so um, we can define any of the new variable like a new variable for white color and here we can define uh, whatever the color we want so the old colors we are going to use in our application we can define them over here and other than this um, there is a file named shape so shape uh, so here you can see that we have a single variable defined and we are using a predefined function that is shapes uh, basically not a function this is a data class so whenever you uh, want to see the source code you can press the control and uh, left click your mouse and you can see the source code over here so here you can see that uh, this is a data class uh, which accepts three variables uh, first one is the small second is medium third is large so these are basically the shapes itself so as you can see this from this documentation here itself so the small shapes includes buttons snack bars floating action buttons text fields extended floating action buttons the medium shapes include cards and alert dialogues and the large shapes include uh, the model drawer layout or the bottom drawer layout so these are like uh, the navigation drawers so these are all the shapes and these are the components attached to each of the shape so um, these are defined here so that anywhere you are going to use any of this shape like the button or the card so what are the by default styles if you want to provide them you can define it over here so like here for small shapes we are using a rounded corner shape so as it is clear from the name that rounded corner shape will have give uh, the shape some roundness from the corners and here you can define the roundness uh, the radius of the roundness like uh, 4 dp is from all sides for medium shapes you are also defining the same 4 dp and for large shapes you are defining 0 dp because for draw layouts and all that stuff you want sharp edges and not these rounded edges okay so this is the way you can define some predefined shapes and if you are wondering like from where this came so this is the part of jetpack compose itself as you can see this is part of android x dot compose dot foundation dot shape package so this is the part of jetpack compose and we have some more shapes which we will see when we will use them in the application so you can just uh, control and left click over here and you can see that this is a function and here it accepts a size in dps so that uh, you can pass any of the size and it will uh, just apply that particular roundness to the shape okay so this is all about shapes and now there is a file named type.kt so here you can define all the typography so here we are also using a variable uh, which e you can name anything but uh, here by default it is named as typography and you can see that we are using a typography uh, over here so this is also part of android x package and uh, you can check out the source code over here so as you can see this is a data class again and here in the constructor it accepts a number of things like um, h1 uh, for uh, heading and h2 for the heading um, which is smaller uh, h3 for another heading and similarly it accepts um, six different type of fonts uh, for or you can say font styles or text styles for different type of headings and then subtitle one two and then body type one two and uh, as you can see here's a button here's a caption so 
these are some of the predefined styles uh, which gets applied to any text which you define in the application and you don't provide any styling to it so if you want to define some uh, default styling like for button this is the default style i want if i don't define a different style so you can define all the default styles over here uh, like the body one uh, so we can define our custom style we can change the font style uh, font size we can change the font family we can change the fort weight anything we want and similarly uh, so these are the commented section which you can uncomment and you can also add h1 h2 anything you want to define over here uh, to give some default styles to your application so you can do that over here for texts and uh, now the last one is the theme.kt file so in this file we can see that we have defined two variables uh, one is dark color palette and second is the light color palette and we can see that here are two functions uh, one is dark colors and second is the light colors these are also the def defined function in our compose library you can just check them here so these function can accept a number of variables uh, which are all are optional uh, so these are used if you want to change the default coloring for your application like if you want to change the primary color secondary color or an, any of the other things which it does accept like the secondary color the surface color error color or the own primary own secondary anything you want to change over here so um, gradually you will learn that what all these colors are meant to be like on surface color is the color uh, if you define any surface so anything you define over that surface so this color will be used for that so these are the some kind of things uh, which you learn as you uh, keep using jetpack compose more and more so here you can define some of the default colors like for dark colors you want to define some different colors um, for light color theme you want to define some different colors okay so this is the way you can define them and finally we have a new function named as compose playground theme so first of all everything uh, in jetpack compose is actually a composable function so we can have normal functions um, but if the function is related to jetpack compose like the function is related to you basically creating some kind of ui then it should be a composable function and to create a composable function all you need to do is you need to just um, define a type composable here so like this so you just need to provide an annotation of composable uh, by using add the rate composable and the function will become composable itself so now you can name your function anything so uh, our project name is compose playground so uh, this function is named as compose playground theme you can change the name but uh, for the sake of um, you know good naming convention so this is named as compose playground theme so now you can see that here it accepts two parameters so first one is the dark theme uh, which accepts a type boolean and this is clear from the name that uh, if we pass true to it then it should uh, tell it that the dark theme theme is on and if uh, false is passed then that means that light theme is on so um, by default it has a value uh, which is uh, is system in dark theme this is again a default function in the package android x dot compose dot foundation so uh, what this will do is it will return true if system is in dark theme otherwise it will return false so this is the default value so we don't need to pass a default or you can say a value to this parameter we can leave this blank whenever we'll use this function uh, this function jetpack com uh, sorry compose playground theme so we can just uh, skip this uh, parameter but if we want to programmatically change or if we have a toggle button where user can manually go and switch to light and dark themes then this parameter can be useful uh, so we can pass in true or false based on the settings and it will change the whole applications theme so now you can see that the second parameter it accepts is actually a function so how uh, we know that this is a function from this tag basically so this is a function as this is a 
you can say a feature of Kotlin language uh, that you can pass a function as a parameter to another function so in our case our function is compose playground theme and uh, we have another function over here as a parameter so the function named is content and by declaring this uh, attribute over here by annotating it as composable we are telling that it accepts a function uh, which is of type composable okay it will not accept a simple function um, so it will accept a, a function which have a annotation as composable so okay so this is the content basically the content which we want to uh, draw on the ui so basically you can say this is the window this is the empty skeleton uh, inside which whole of your ui will be drawn so this is that function so now you can see here we are creating a colors variable uh, which is using this boolean uh, and checking if the dark theme is on it should uh, use the dark color palette which uh, we have defined over here otherwise it should use light color palette and uh, this will be uh, the correct value will be passed to the colors variable and now uh, we are having having a material theme uh, where we can define the colors uh, which is this value the typography which we uh, have seen earlier the shapes which we have seen earlier and now finally the content uh, is the function which we have passed over here so we'll learn about this thing a little bit later so just keep in mind that you have passed a different function of type composable to this particular function and then you are using that function over here so uh, well I'll tell you that how these things works so you will be thinking more of like this thing as a as of in the context of creating UIs rather than uh, thinking it as a function uh, you will be you will be starting thinking it as a widget like you are passing some widget to this particular function and then that widget can be used anywhere inside that function you can manipulate that widget or you can directly use that widget so um, all of this function is like a widget so you can pass even a text field over here you can pass a button or even you can pass um, a card view anything so let's get started and uh, actually not get started so we'll end this video over here and from the next video we'll see that how we can create some basic UIs some basic UI component using Jetpack Compose so stay tuned we'll see you in next video take care